Hi, uh, my name is Ralph Bannell. I'm a lecturer at the Pontifical Catholic University in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and I'm responsible for the preface to this new book, Education and Technology Critical Approaches. It's a rather long preface, but I try and what I try and do is rather than talk about the articles explicitly, that's done in the introduction to the book by the editors, I try and focus on two issues that I think are absolutely essential um, that are touched on in the articles but are not brought to the surface and, and that is the political economy of, tech, of educational technology and by that I mean the way in which the production, distribution and use, uh, consumption of educational technology is deeply implicated with the capital system and the accumulation and expansion of capital worldwide and the second set of issues is based on the um, uh, theories of mind and cognition that are uh, usually assumed um, in many of the developments in um, educational technology, especially those that apply um, or, or uh, develop uh, uh, from machine learning. So I'm thinking here particularly of adaptive learning and other learning platform, learning processes or learning, learning um, modules of that kind. And my principal problem there, not is that I think all of these rather fanciful um, uh, wishes about what artificial intelligence um, will be able to achieve in the future. I mean, I think most of those are absolutely um, balmy because um, they, they're based on the idea of a functionalist theory of mind, which says that the actual physical instantiation of the mind is not important and that all is important are its functions. And that could be done by anything, including a computer. Um, I actually think that the biology of the human being and other animals is absolutely essential to the um, mental functioning, um, consciousness, and also to um, cognition and cognitive capacities. So um, I reject that on um, biological and phenomenological grounds. Uh, what my real worry is in trying to develop these things, we might actually be reducing rather than increasing the amount of autonomy and, um, and uh, choice that both learners and teachers have in the learning process. Um, I think that's a real danger that um, the development of these systems might bring about, even though they don't eventually bring about any, um, anything like artificial consciousness or any of these other bizarre um, um, objectives uh, in this area. So basically, I try and try and organise the the discussion around those two issues, um, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the book is certainly very well worth reading. Thank you.